In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of Patron's Home tab tools. To start the new icon, let me start a new Patron database. The open icon allows me to open a pre-existing Patron database. The open recent icon allows me to open a previously open Patron database. The save icon allows me to save the file. A print icon allows me to print the current viewport any current XY windows, and so on. Here I'll print to uh, my virtual printer. And here you'll see if this were printed on a piece of paper, I will get a black and white representation of what I see in the viewport. The copy to clipboard icon copies the viewport here. So then when I go to say paint and paste the file or the image, this is what it will look like. The undo icon allows me to undo an action, so if I were to delete a geometric solid and I wish to undo this, I can click undo in the home tab. You'll notice before it was black indicating it was modified and now it's back to blue. Here if I perform an action and I wish to abort it, I can click abort. If I have entities drawn here in the window, I can easily click reset graphics and I'll remove these uh, markers. Sometimes when you work with the geometry or the elements and say I delete the solid again, you notice that I've deleted the solid but it's not, it has not disappeared yet. What I will have to go ahead and do is click refresh graphics so it redraws what's currently visible or I can undo that and delete the solid again and or I can rotate and it'll automatically do the refresh graphics for you. Let me zoom and get a better view now. If I click mouse rotate XY this allows me to use the roller on the mouse to rotate the model. If I click mouse rotate Z and hold the roller on the mouse this will allow me to rotate the model. Here the mouse translate XY allows me to slide the model left and right up and down. The mouse zoom allows me to use the roller in the mouse to zoom in and out. Alternatively, holding down the shift key and the roller allows me to slide this around. Holding the control key and the roller allows me to zoom in and out. And holding just the roller after you click this icon, allows me to rotate the model. Here the view corners icon allows me to drag a window and zoom into that particular region. This fit view icon fits the entire model in the viewport. Here the view center, if I click this one time and click here one time, it will center that point in the viewport. Here, if I click Rotation Center and say I want to rotate about this corner, I will click this icon one time and click this point. So then when I rotate, you'll notice that the rotation happens around that corner. So then if I want to pick another corner to rotate about, I will click that icon one time and click another point. Now you'll notice that it rotates about that point. If I want to return the rotation to normal, I will click Model Center. So then it just rotates around this middle solid. Let me fit the view. Occasionally, if you have two viewports, sometimes they can overlap each other. What you can do is click Tile Viewports and it will neatly organize them as shown. Or if I have a viewport that's small, I can easily use the shortcut to enlarge the viewport and fit it in the window. Here I can zoom out, zoom in, and remember holding down the control key and the roller and the mouse allows me to do the same action. Here I can switch between showing the geometric entities as a wireframe, switch the hidden line, 
or shade it. And you'll notice that in wireframe I can see the elements in the back of the cube, whereas if I go to hidden line or shade it, I, I'm not able to see what's in the back. Here you'll notice that the finite elements are accurately represented here. I can click element shrink here and it'll shrink the elements as shown. If I unclick it again, I'll show the original view. Right now the viewport is has a blue background. I can switch to black or white and then back to blue again. Here cycle show labels. If I click that one time, I'll number every entity I currently have. So here I'll number the point, the curve, my surface, uh, my geometric solid with its points, my mesh here with its nodes in red. You can click that to turn it off. Here my MPC marker, if I turn that on, it'll show that it's in pink here. Here my point element marker, I can click this on and off and you'll notice that this marker here hides and comes visible again when I switch it on and off. Here I have one for connector element markers. I can switch between the various uh, views so I can go from the front, the rear, the top, the bottom, left, right, ISO 1, isometric 2, 3, and 4. Let me turn off my MPC marker. Here I have a plot and erase option. So say I want to hide my surface, which is here. And you'll notice that the black circles here, I can click reset graphics or clean it up using the refresh graphics here. I can select the surface and hide it. I can hide the curve can hide the solid. And remember you can click refresh graphics or just rotate the model and it'll update the window. If I want to reveal all the hidden ge geometric entities I can click plot here. And the same can be done for the mesh so say I want to hide the entire mesh I can click erase and then plot it again. Alternatively I can use this simple icon here to hide it and unhide it. Same for the geometric entities, hide it and unhide it. Here the LBC markers icon allows me to easily plot all the markers and to hide them you can just click reset graphics. The label icon allows me to label all my geometric entity or all the entities, all my geometric entities, all my mesh entities or I can go one by one and select the points, the curves, surfaces, solids and so on or just all my nodes or the elements. You'll notice that sometimes it's difficult to see a point. What I can do is turn this on and I'll encircle the points. And the same thing for the nodes. I can click this icon and I'll encircle the nodes. Let me hide my mesh. The display lines icon allows me to draw a grid on the surfaces and solids. Turn that off. And the last icon here, the model tree, opens up the model tree here on the left and reveals various details of the model such as any defined materials, properties, boundary conditions, and so on. You can simply click it and turn it off and on. Let me reorient this, clean it up, and that's the overview.